Hello and welcome back. So today let's delve a little bit deeper into hypertension. Let's talk about the symptoms as well as what are the risk factors. Um, I hope this video is going to be bringing you a lot more closer to a better understanding so it makes much more sense to you. So generally when we talk about symptoms of hypertension, um, it's really hard to describe because most of the time patients actually don't show up with any symptoms. Uh, hypertension is actually known as a silent killer uh, in sense that there aren't a very clear-cut symptoms that could define the onset of, uh, onset of uh, hypertension. Um, some, there are few symptoms that show up uh, amongst you know, different patients, but there is no particular one set of symptoms that show up. Uh, some of the more common ones would be like constant headaches, uh, blurring of vision, uh, something like uh, anxiety, um, depression. Uh, some people complain a lot of uh, fatigue. They're unable to basically, you know, they don't have the motivation to do anything. They're really, really tired all the time. In uh, women and men, you do see a loss of libido. And in men, you also see erectile dysfunction. So these could be some signs, but uh, I wouldn't wait for these to develop. Uh, the key here becomes monitoring, self-monitoring, uh, your own BP and family members and generally anybody who's above 35. I do want to point out some of the serious symptoms um, just because, like I said, hypertension doesn't have exactly any clear-cut symptoms. There are a lot of patients that show up to the ER um, as being diagnosed for the first time as hypertension. Uh, by having that, you know, chest pain and dizziness and it's usually MI that they're having a heart attack or some kind of stroke. So uh, these would be danger signs. These would be signs that if you ha are experiencing, you would really, um, you know, need not waste any time and reach the cl closest hospital to you. The uh, risk factors. Now, these factors are things that are basically going to decide if you are going to get hypertension or not. And usually when we talk about risk factors, whether it is hypertension or just generally any heart disease, we classify them as um, non-modifiable and modifiable risk factors. So the non-modifiable risk factors are things that you can't really change about yourself. Um, this could be your genetic makeup, uh, the fact that you know you have parents or grandparents or brothers or sister, uh, somebody in the family who has hypertension, who has had it, uh, you know, at a, starting at a certain age. Uh, another thing would be your environment, you know, um, the way your life, the way your environment plays out, uh, which, you know, socioeconomic strata you're coming from. So these would be something which would be non-modifiable. But to counter that, there are plenty of modifiable risk factors that you and I and anyone can work on to kind of ensure that we don't fall in the, you know, the risk groups. So the number one um, risk factor becomes the kind of lifestyle that you lead, um, the kind of, uh, you know, uh, whether it's a sedentary lifestyle, whether you are somebody who likes to be active, uh, the kind of food that you eat. So diet becomes a, a very important if your uh, diet is very Mediterranean, very wholesome and, you know, lots of fruits and vegetables versus, um, you know, a lot more street food and junk food and things like that. Uh, another modifiable and a very big one at that is, uh, of course, your weight. So obesity or overweight, um, you know, uh, those things are easily modifiable. Lastly, another modifiable risk factor which I feel that we all can work on really easily are our habits. Uh, our habits in terms of alcohol consumption, in terms of smoking, in terms of caffeine intake and in terms of salt intake. So these are something very easily controllable uh, which could really help modify your risk of uh, starting or onset of hypertension. Um, like I always say, please uh, do put anything you have in your mind, any questions, any uh, queries, put them in the comments below and we will try to reach them. If you have any other topics, any other diseases you'd like us to discuss, uh, put that in the comments below as well and we will try to make those videos. Uh, like and subscribe to the channel so that we know that this is you know, coming uh, to some use to somebody. Thank you.